welcome back to my channel my name is Malaysia oh wait I actually want to try a different style for this video just to switch it up if you guys like this hair it's a wig that I am reviewing over on my beauty channel it's linked in the description if you want to check it out let's get into three more ways to make your life easier as a youtuber I'm dropping more deuces on y'all playlist to a series because at this point it's a series of me giving tips to make your life easier is linked in the description as well what's my beauty channel my first tip for today's video on how to make your life easier as a youtuber is to make sure before filming not only make sure that your batteries are charged but also make sure that you have memory in your memory card really look at how much footage and photos you have on your memory card that you no longer need because it's just really annoying to be in the middle of filming and have that thing pop up you're out of storage like it happens with my phone it happens it doesn't happen with my camera because i have a lot of gigabytes on my memory card compared to my phone back when i got my phone 128 gigabytes was the highest now they got one terabyte on an iphone i'm just like let me see what the iphone 14 do but seriously before filming really look at what doesn't need to be on your memory card what videos and what photos don't need to be on your phone for me i do instagram stories a lot i take a lot of screenshots and i record a lot of things and sometimes i will accidentally store it twice there's just stuff in my phone that i doesn't need to be there and just clearing that out before filming on your phone or clearing that out before filming on your camera will save you some time of having to be in the middle of filming and then being told that your storage is out and then in the midst of filming in the flow you have to pause and then in the middle of your filming now you have to go and delete stuff now you have to go and like see what you don't need like that's so annoying and you can prevent that by doing it beforehand another thing to help make your life easier as a youtuber is to figure out your ideal setups take a day in time this month to really go around your environment and play around with your camera and see the best places to film understand where you look best filming understand the locations that are really great locations to film in you may have already picked a spot that you like but there could be a spot that you like even more that you haven't even tried out because you just have stuck to this one spot really understand all the great spots where you can film in if you don't have any great spots to film in look at the backgrounds you can invest in or some green screens you can invest in and also really play around with the lighting just really know what your setup is going to be before filming before filming understand what you're going for for me i knew that this video i'm going for a sit down video with some fresh flowers and this beautiful swiveled love seat that i'm so proud to own this was the swiveled love seat that I was mentioning in my live stream and i'm actually currently painting it right now like i'm about to paint it gold have an idea of what the vibe is going to be before filming i know this may seem obvious to some of you but a lot of us will just like film what needs to be filmed and we don't really pay attention to those extracurriculars pay attention to those extracurriculars you know like where are you about to put your ring light like what angle are we about to work with have that figured out before you even get ready like i mentioned this in the last video before you even get ready have your setup done but to go even deeper into that make sure you have an idea of what vibe you're going for what vibe are you going for you may not necessarily have the tools to make that vibe right now but you're asking yourself that you can understand you could at least start looking on what you can do to get that vibe going to get that type of setup going you know if you're watching a youtuber and their lighting is way better than yours look into what lighting they're using look into like oh my clip ASMR. no but really look into like what the vibe is about to be another way to make your life easier as a youtuber is to film batch i know i mentioned this a couple times before because <laughs> i live by this film batching is when you film things in advance take some time aside to film multiple videos in one sitting now a lot of people will think that this means film as much videos as you can that can be it but sometimes film batching is just simply filming two videos at once sometimes film batching is filming a video and then also getting some tiktoks and instagram reels done at the same time it doesn't have to necessarily be four videos one sitting five tiktoks seven instagram reels like <laughs> breathe <laughs> like time is fleeting but like we don't need to burn ourselves out i personally wish i could be one to film four videos in one sitting but with my lifestyle right now just to make it easier and less of a, a strain on to me because i'm all about making things easier hence the series i only do like two videos in one sitting just so i'm not too drained and tired after 
film batching. I do different types of deliveries of content, so it lasts. When it comes to TikToks and Instagram Reels, <laughs> I'm a pro at that. I can get myself like 12 of them done within a day because it's just really easy for me. Depending on the type of Instagram reel or TikTok, if it requires like scenes and like outfit changes and like anglings and whatnot, it's like sometimes it could take me a minute. But pretty much what I'm getting at is film batch what you can. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself and be like, I'm gonna film all my four videos for the month on Monday. Like if you think you can do it, do it. But then also pay attention to how you feel after film batching. If you feel so exhausted to where you don't want to film again, maybe like drop that to like three videos per session, two videos per session. But overall you want to film batch because this will save you time what having to film. Save you some time on having to get up and like pick up the energy to film all the time. If it wasn't for me film batching, I would have to it would just be more complicated than it needs to be. Like if one week I got too tired, I didn't want to do it. It's like, okay, well, yeah, I did film for next week already. So I don't have to film next week if I don't want to, because I already have next week's video done because I film batched because I was looking out for my future self. So like film batching gives you some backup. It helps you to be consistent more and to grow on YouTube, you really need to focus on your consistency. So those are three ways to make your life easier as a YouTuber. Uh, it's all watery now. <sighs> Sorry, it's like a mojito that I was drinking last week. <laughs> <laughs> last week's video if you'd like to check out all the other ways to make your life easier as a youtuber i have a link to that playlist down in my description below i did like three more videos prior to this one and I'm probably going to do more my whole channel is pretty much dedicated to making your life easier as a youtuber as a small creative so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on my magic and i'll see you in the next video